Spinal cord stimulation, also called neuromodulation, uses electrical impulses around the spinal cord to prevent pain impulses from reaching the brain. These implants have been revolutionary in pain management for individuals suffering with chronic pain and who have failed conservative and even operative treatments. Candidates include those with failed back or neck surgery, RSD or CRPS, neuropathy, failed prior spinal cord implants, cancer, angina, peripheral vascular disease, and more. Prior to a final spinal cord stimulator being placed, a trial procedure is necessary. For this, the lower back is sterilized and anesthetized, and a small incision is made to delicately insert the electrode into the epidural space around the spinal cord. The electrode is then stimulated from a programming unit that is attached outside the skin, and the patient relays feedback regarding coverage of the painful area. This helps with placement to best block a person's pain. The lead is then kept attached to this external programming unit for the next week, which remains outside the skin with a sterile dressing over the extruding lead wire. If it works well, the patient is then scheduled for a permanent implant. Typically, a psychological evaluation is required to gain insurance approval. For the final implant, the procedure may be performed under sedation or general anesthesia. The incision for the final implant is larger than the trial to allow for a slight bit of bony removal to allow for the larger electrodes to be inserted. Often two electrodes are inserted with the ends having what's called a paddle lead to allow for more programming options. A real-time x-ray machine known as fluoroscopy confirms the accurate placement. Once those are in place, a second incision is made to subcutaneously place the implantable pulse generator, which includes the battery. Usually this is right above the buttocks or in the abdomen. The leads are connected to the generator and then the wounds are closed. The newest generators have a rechargeable battery and millions of programming options all performed with a remote control. Overall effectiveness of neuromodulation exceeds 75% and the procedure has changed the lives of many patients suffering with chronic pain. U.S. Pain Network offers top board certified pain doctors nationwide with most insurance being accepted. Visit us today at uspainnetwork.com to find the top pain center near you because your pain stops here.